Now, the latest on those three American students arrested in Egypt 24 hours after officials announced they'd be released. There's still no sign of them. Yeah, and we are hearing they could stay in custody through the weekend. Correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is in Cairo with more. And good morning to you, Liz. Good morning. It's pretty loud here. I'm in Tahrir Square, which is filling up once again very fast. But you ask about the students. That's right. We think they're still in the police station here. They're certainly still in custody, uh, working with their lawyer, going through lengthy bureaucratic procedures before they're finally physically allowed to go free. At the American University of Cairo dorm, where the three students live, Friends were waiting to welcome them, relieved to hear the Egyptians weren't going to press charges. My first reaction, just because I you know, know them personally, was that there's no way that they could have had those. You know, I, I don't think they would have figured out how to get Molotov cocktails. I want them to come here so I can see them before they leave. I've been freaking out the past two days. Gregory Porter, Luke Gates and Derek Sweeney, who haven't been seen by family or friends except in this police video on Egyptian state television, may not be freed from custody until the end of the Muslim weekend on Sunday. Today, though, demonstrators in Tahrir Square have called for another million-man march, demanding that the military give up power immediately to a caretaker civilian government that will steer the country through elections. But the generals in charge have refused in a televised press conference. The people have entrusted us with a mission, said General Mukhtar al-Mullah, and if we abandon it now, it would be a betrayal. Although the violence on the edge of Tahrir Square has stopped, the dangerous political standoff in Egypt continues, with elections slated to begin in only four days. The generals offered a big political concession earlier this week. They said, look, we will be gone by next summer. So to force them to take another step back, today's demonstration is just going to have to be enormous, the size of the ones we were seeing in January. Chris? Liz, quick question for you before we let you go. If these generals decide they will not step down, which it looks as though they will not do, how much uglier can this situation possibly get? It will depend on the messages coming from the political leadership, but people are really angry, especially in the wake of so many having been killed this week. I think uh, it's fragile and it could actually get very violent very fast once again. Chris? Right. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer in Cairo for us this morning. Liz, thank you very much.